Hi, this is Dr. David Green, CEO of R3 Stem Cell. Today the topic is stem cell therapy for arthritis. Now the scope of arthritis is tremendous. It's the number one cause of disability in the U.S. Over 25 million people suffer from osteoarthritis in this country. There are about a hundred different types of arthritis, but the two most common after osteoarthritis, which is also degenerative arthritis, is rheumatoid and psoriatic. About 10% of men and 13% of women over the age of 60 demonstrate symptomatic knee osteoarthritis. There's over a million joint replacements performed every year in the U.S. And by 2030, the total amount of joint replacements is expected to grow by a factor of six due to the baby boomer population. So in degenerative arthritis, you have what's called a ratio problem. As we age, the body does continue to make cartilage at the same rate as usual. However, it's losing it faster than it's making it, so it becomes a ratio imbalance. Now, there are some additional causes of degenerative arthritis, such as post-traumatic, uh, obesity, inflammatory arthritis, uh, hereditary, and women experience uh, degenerative arthritis at a rate higher than men. Now, we do have a significant amount of non-surgical treatments, but I mentioned the word deficit because what we don't have until now are significant amounts of regenerative treatments. So there's plenty of non-surgical treatments like cortisone, bracing, anti-inflammatories, a cane, which are great for pain relief, but they don't change the course of arthritis. The closest one to date until now that we've had has been viscosupplementation, which is the hyaluronic acid treatments, which with substances like Synvisc or Hyalgan, or Orthovisc, they're pretty much the same. Regenerative medicine changes the paradigm of how we treat arthritis because now you have something that can actually change the course of the disease. It's not a band-aid. It can actually provide long-term relief by repairing and regenerating the problem. Now, what are the elements to repair when you're talking about arthritis? Well, obviously cartilage, we talked about that. Meniscal or labral tears. So in the knee, it's gonna be your meniscus, which is a fibrocartilage uh, tissue that pr provides cushioning. In the shoulder, they call it the labrum. In the hip, the same thing. Um, so you have various fibrocartilaginous uh, substances that can be degenerative. Tendinopathy, so rotator cuff, is a huge part of the stability of the shoulder. Uh, with aging, you can get tendinopathy, and that can be helped dramatically with regenerative medicine. And the inflammatory component is going to vary. We know there's an inflammatory component to just osteoarthritis in general, or else, you know, why would anti-inflammatories work? Because there's an inflammatory component. Now, when you talk about true inflammatory arthritis, such as you get with, you know, psoriasis and lupus and things like that, um, that's why it's going to vary. All right, so let's go through a few studies. This one's from Stem Cells 2014, intraarticular injection of mesenchymal stem cells for the treatment of osteoarthritis of the knee. 18 patients were injected with the, of the, in the knee with uh, adipose-derived mesenchymal stem cells. They looked at three different doses, and they found that the highest dose showed cartilage regeneration with cartilage defects decreasing. Now, they didn't just look at MRIs. They actually did a follow-up arthroscopy so they could look right at the cartilage and see the effect that the stem cells had. So this is at a two, last year, 2016, experts and opinion for biologic therapeutics. Current clinical evidence for the use of mesenchymal stem cells in articular cartilage repair. So the article looked at the clinical evidence to date in a lot of journals, and the article demonstrated that there is robust clinical evidence that mesenchymal stem cells have significant potential for the regeneration of hyaline articular cartilage in patients. Now this is out of the British Journal of Sports Medicine very recently. Stem cell injections in the knee, uh, systematic review of the literature, they looked at six randomized clinical trials. You know, the way these, these, these reviews work is they, they pull the literature, they get probably like a hundred studies and they start to use their criteria, make sure it's randomized and whatnot. So randomized are the better studies. All studies reported superior effectiveness for patient reported outcomes such as your pain scales uh, compared with controls at final follow-up. So they went out to four years. They all showed super superior radiological outcomes on x-rays were found favoring stem cell injection. Uh, here's a study out of Journal, Journal of Orthopedic Surgery and Research 2016. Stem cells and articular cartilage rest regeneration. They looked at 60 studies. 
Uh, clinical benefit of using mesenchymal stem cell therapies has been reported in most of the studies, regardless of the cell source, uh, the indication, or the administration method. So whether it's amniotic, adipose, bone marrow, um, blood-derived stem cells, you know, they all showed effectiveness. Now, the studies were not level one. They weren't blinded, um, prospective, and all randomized. Some of them were, but not all of those things. Here's a study out of Iran, 2015. Long-term follow-up of intraarticular injection of autologous, meaning your own mesenchymal stem cells in patients with knee, ankle, or hip. So they looked at all three of these in 18 patients. They actually did culture the bone marrow that they took out of the patient, and then they did one injection with two and a half years of follow-up. All the patients benefited therapeutically with increased walking distance, decreased pain scales, uh, decreased arthritis scores, and this was all confirmed by MRI. Here's a study of two, 275 patients with looking at amniotic stem cell fluid versus uh, two different types of uh, visco supplementation, orthovisc, monovisc. So what they looked at was the percent of patients who had greater than 40% pain improvement at 90 days and then at six months. Okay, so the amniotic had close to 80%. Uh, well, they had 80, almost 80% had greater than 40% pain improvement at three months. And then when you looked at, at it over six months, 54% had over 40% pain reduction with amniotic versus, uh, in this case, they looked at the synvisc. So it was about 34% there. So very significant differential in both time points. Here's another study looking at amniotic fluid uh, for degenerative arthritis. 181 patients uh, prospectively were evaluated. Uh, 51 of the 180 had reached the three-month follow-up and over 75% had over 40% pain relief um, in their affected knee. Uh, their pain scores improved uh, by two-thirds, and the Womax scores, which is indicative of the arthritis pain, increased by 71% at the one-month period. And in in interestingly, the improvements went up at three months to 82% for the Womax, the arthritis-specific, and 74% uh, for the pain scale. And this was presented at last year's American Academy of Pain Medicine meeting. When you look at amniotic fluid, it is rich in a lot of the components that are used for regeneration. This includes over 70 growth factor proteins, a lot of cytokines, which can, which can modulate inflammation, such as with RA or psoriasis, um, hyaluronic acid, which is what you find in Synvisc, messenger RNA, exosomes, secretomes, and then the cellular components, uh, there are some mesenchymal uh, stem cells. Um, and this depends on how it's processed. Some companies have no mesenchymal stem cells if they radiate the product, but if it's processed according to the FDA in such a way that it can keep viable the stem cells, you can get a significant amount. And also fibroblasts and epithelial cells. R3 wants to make a difference in patients' lives. We want to help patients avoid surgery, remain as active as desired. We have affiliated centers of excellence nationwide that offer first-rate regenerative treatments for arthritis, sports injuries, ligament and tendon injury, and more. Visit us online today at r3stemcell.com or simply call us at 844-GET-STEM. Thank you for watching.